Hello, hi, welcome back to my course on enhancing soft skills and personality. We are on the seventh week, third unit, and on the whole, 33rd lesson. And this is the second part of managing health. And in this unit in particular, we will focus on diet and sleep. As usual, we will take a look at the highlights of the last lesson. We understood in the last lesson that health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. That is the definition by who and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So, in order to maintain this balance that is uh, to come through a physical uh, reinforcement and along with mental and social well-being. So, you need to actually keep your uh, body in very fit condition. So, we learnt in that context that timely upkeep of body is required for preventing it from untimely malfunctioning. So, body needs to help you in crucial circumstances. It should not let you down when you need it the most. We understood that to retain life energy and to make full use of it, one should keep the body fit by regular exercise. Exercise as such is any activity that involves exerting your muscles in various ways to keep yourself fit. So, you can uh, enjoy doing anything that you feel that it is just fun to do. It can be walking or cycling, swimming or playing tennis or squash or uh, playing football, volleyball, hockey. So, anything that will exert your muscles. So, that is the most important thing. Adding yoga and meditation will help you to safeguard yourself from stress that attacks you at unprepared moments. And we also found in this context that morning exercise will be the most beneficial because you will get the benefit of uh, getting vitamin D by exposing yourself to the sunlight in the morning. While we learnt how to resume discontinued exercise, we also got a clear grasp of the ways in which we can maintain going for regular exercise. So, in that context, we learnt uh, some tips as how we can maintain going for exercise in a regular manner. And then on days when you miss your exercise, you can supplement it by other alternatives such as walking or cycling to the office, climbing stairs instead of using lift, keeping the car in the car parking area at a distance so that you at least walk to the car in case you took your car. So, these are slight uh, uh, supplementary activities you can do when you are not able to do normal exercises. And then you can also make exercise attractive by using the latest gadgets, treating yourself with nice sports costumes and by joining local competitions and uh, getting boosted up by small victories. Finally, I suggested to you that you should never break the rhythm and the momentum gained uh, just because of some minor ailments, because those ailments will disappear once you persist with your exercise. Of course, you can minimize the intensity, the duration, but for consistency's sake, you should not get carried away by slight headache or slight cold or cough and then just stop exercise for a long time. So, with that thought, I also added that we uh, just looked at exercise. We will also look at the other two important aspects of maintaining, managing your health that is diet as well as sleep. Now, eating well, so diet amounts not just to controlling your food habits, but it means eating well. So, no exercise program is complete without balancing it with appropriate and adequate diet. Even thinning down, people get cheated by uh, attractive uh, crash course programs saying that, so we will reduce your tummy in 30 days, we will make you thin in 40 days. And then they will say that uh, or they will force you to do lot of exercise just focusing on the particular spot that is your stomach. But those things are not going to help you completely if you are not going to add your diet or learn how to balance your diet with the exercise that you are doing. It has to be complemented by the food that you eat. 
So, basically you should ensure that you eat 3 regular meals per day and those who are interested in losing weight should eat less, they should never overeat, but then they should eat frequently like 4 to 5 or even 6 times a day to increase the metabolism. But in either case, one should never skip the breakfast and as the proverb goes, one should uh, eat like a king in the morning and eat like a pauper at night. Instead of skipping, you should rather eat a heavy and rich breakfast and even lunch should also not be avoided, whatever work pressure it may be. Something has to be taken and preferably at the same time. If you are used to taking lunch at 1 o'clock, all the time you should take lunch at 1 o'clock. If it is 12.30, it should be 12.30. So, then only the metabolism will be kept very active. Light dinner should be taken, it should not be heavy, it should not be too spicy and ideally before 7 pm. So, there are many who are habituated to take it before sunset, that is again very ideal, but at least before 7 pm. So, when you keep on delaying it, again it is contributing to lot of uh, ill effects on your body. There are interesting books which you can uh, use to understand what type of food that will suit your body type and your lifestyle. For example, there is one very famous book by Dr. Peter D. Adamo who wrote this with Catherine Whitney. The title of the book is Eat Right for Your Type. Now, what the authors are trying to tell is that you need to eat the right kind of food for your blood type. So, based on your blood type, whether it is A or B, uh, O, okay, whether it is positive or negative. So, depending on that, so they recommend certain diet for you. So, eating that can save you from certain allergic reactions of your body or uh, save you from obesity or save you from hormonal imbalances and all that. So, since my interest is not in going deep into those aspects, if you are interested, you should go deep and then identify what suits your body and then fix your uh, diet accordingly. But the point is to eat well, eat rich food and eat in time and keep the uh, frequency that is 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, 3 the normal one and not missing any of them. So, that will help you to maintain good metabolism and uh, stay healthy. Although these books will give you some kind of scientific awareness, but even without that kind of scientific awareness, you can help yourself by using your common sense in ensuring certain simple things such as you should avoid all white food and choose all naturally colored ones. So, that means you should avoid white food like maida and maida products, ghee for example, it looks white. Try to avoid white colored ones and then particularly salt and sugar. Rather you should choose green vegetables and even within vegetables you have lot of colorful vegetables like carrot and uh, beetroot and all that and colorful fruits different colors. Okay. So, enjoy eating all these fruits. So, that is one simple step you can take and then you should eat plenty of fruits and vegetables, preferably the seasonal fruits and vegetables, whatever is available during that season. So, that is really healthy and it should be fresh. Even if you are to a slightly extra money for something that is organic, something that is taken fresh from the garden. So, you should not mind paying that and you should save yourself from food which have been preserved, food that needs to be preserved and hence preservatives are used. So, you should try to avoid those ones. So, make it fresh and then go for seasonal ones and uh, ensure that daily you will have rich source of minerals and uh, vitamins from uh, these food intakes and get the right balance of carbohydrates, proteins 
and fats and to add apart from this uh, food intake drink minimum 2 liters of uncontaminated water every day. So, I am particular about uncontaminated water. So, you may use whatever good water purifier, but then it is important that you should drink uncontaminated water, pure water 2 liters at least in a day, more the merrier, but at least 2 liters and do not drink carbonated that is uh, all kind of uh, colas and soft drinks which you get and alcoholic drinks. So, completely try to avoid this if you want to live longer and healthy. The next point apart from uh, the dietary tips that I have uh, given you so far is related to maintaining health in terms of managing your sleep. Early to bed and early to rise as the proverb goes will make a man healthy, wealthy and wise provided the person who goes to bed enjoys a sound sleep till the morning. So, the proverb will not work out if you are uh, disturbed in your sleep and then if you are not taking a sound sleep. There are interesting books like uh, Kakper, uh, Postowski's Powerful Sleep, Secrets of the Inner Sleep Clock. I have given the reference to this book at the end, you can just uh, browse it from the net itself. So, such books actually analyze sleep with scientific precision and offers very beneficial insights. However, if you learn how to discipline your body, okay, especially by doing exercise, you will be able to get adequate sleep at night and just this disciplining and getting adequate sleep can also be ensured by some simple steps which I would like to suggest to you. The first one is when you exercise regularly, you will normally get good sleep at night. So, that is the most important benefit of exercise and slightly if you push yourself okay, in whatever form of exercise, you will get that deep sound sleep. Okay, nobody can disturb you, no noise can affect your uh, sleep because the body feels fully exhausted. So, the muscle would like to relax and then you get good sleep. Secondly, a short nap helps in quick rejuvenation. So, 15 minutes nap, sometimes they call this as power nap. So, even in office when you sit on your chair, you can close your eyes and then uh, just take a nap. Even if you are aware of what is happening around, just closing your eyes and relaxing. So, that itself will rejuvenate. So, 20 minutes, 30 minutes it is fine, but then uh, if it is going to be stretched for let us say 2 hours, okay, somebody is sleeping for 3 hours in the afternoon, which is actually becoming an extended sleep or uh, truncated sleep. So, that is not going to give you quality sleep at night. So, this long nap or short sleep in the afternoon should be avoided. So, if at all you have to take it has to be 15 minutes at the most to 45 minutes, but not more than that. Eating heavy spicy food at late night can affect the quality of sleep. So, what you have to do is that after eating that food, you should at least take short walk. Okay, so, that it again helps in uh, your uh, metabolism and then contribute to getting good sleep. Using mobile phone, laptop on bed will eventually kill sleep because you will sleep with the gadget and then uh, you that you will all the time feel like watching what is happening there. So, working on the laptop and then just dozing off. So, that is not going to give you good sleep. In fact, the bedroom should be free from any electronic gadgets, particularly TV. It is really a bad habit to just watch TV and then fall asleep without even knowing when you uh, fell asleep. Keep the environment of the bedroom clean. You can use oxygen generating plants like aloe vera to keep the air pure. You should wash as well as change 
the bed sheets and pillow covers once in a week. And you should also use a pillow that you feel cozy and comfortable for resting your head. So, if a pillow is giving you some kind of uncomfort, change it. Find something by which you will be able to rest your head peacefully and get sleep. And same thing goes for your feet also. If you need a pillow for your feet for additional comfort, use it. And it will help you if you can sleep at the same place of your bed and at the same hour to make sleep a spontaneous, normal, regular activity. So, you go lie on the same bed, same place and then the same pillow which is clean and neat and then put your feet, use the same bed sheet and then just as soon as you lie within 3 to 5 minutes you should be able to like switch off your uh, machine and then you should be able to just go to deep sleep. So, train yourself uh, towards that kind of uh, sleep. Also you should train yourself to get up without an alarm by which you will ensure complete sleep. Now what happens you may need let us say uh, sleep for half an hour more which you can even adjust by uh, hurrying up or uh, taking bath quickly. Since you have kept an alarm, you get up at the time, but then you just again uh, snooze it and then again it uh, uh, alarms, gives the alarm after 10 minutes, again you snooze it and then another 10 minutes. Now, you are just only disturbing your sleep and then you will not feel active even after you get up. Instead, if you use your instinct, if you use your circadian rhythm, if you train yourself, tell yourself and then make yourself conscious with regard to the surroundings and the time. So, you will be able to get up on your own if you decide that you have to get up at uh, 5.15, 5.30, 6.00, 7.15. So, you can do that by practice. So, avoid using this alarm. Today, this alarm has become a very disturbing uh, thing. It has uh, become a extended organic component of the human being, so which you should uh, try to discard. And then the next uh, suggestion I would like to give is with regard to the duration that you need. So, while children need up to 10 to 11 hours of sleep and the young babies would need even 13 to 16 hours. An adult will need about 8 hours of sleep in standard terms. A regularly exercised body supported by meditation and yoga can sustain with 5 to 6 hours of sleep also. So, people who are super trained in yoga and meditation, so from a very long time, so they will be able to maintain with 6 hours, 5 hours also. But normally you will need 7 to 8 hours. So, while sleeping in order to gain this uh, 7 to 8 hours, you can focus on other things such as keeping the bedroom as dark as possible because some people get distracted by light and then it takes long time to reach that unconscious level. So, keep it as dark as possible and then I said do not use mobile. So, in case you just keep it on the bed and sleep, remember to switch it off or keep it in silent mode. So, getting frequently disturbed by mobile calls or notifications from social media is the easiest way to get insomnia that is sleeplessness. So, your mind always is uh, troubled and it is not used to getting long sleep for uh, 6 to 8 hours in a stable peaceful manner. In case you are having problem getting sleep quickly, listen to light soothing music. So, only in case that you do not get sleep for a long time, otherwise you should be getting sleep naturally. Some people use this method of counting sheep. Okay. So, that also helps in some cases like uh, they imagine counting sheep. Okay. So, you have to count, so you have to visualize uh, one herd of uh, sheep and then you have to start counting 1, 2, 3, 4 and then normally it is uh, experienced that when you reach about 100, 
you may fall asleep without even knowing that you have uh, fallen asleep. Okay. Eating a banana an hour before bedtime and or drinking a glass of warm milk can act as sedatives to make you relax and get sound sleep. Again, even if these ones do not help, some people use breathing exercises. So, they sit for 15, 20 minutes, they breathe, okay, they take a very deep uh, breath inside themselves, they take deep breathing and then exhaling. So, that also helps them relieve all stress and then relax. Having a bath, so can also give you good sleep. Now, having understood that how you can gain good sleep, let me uh, conclude this with cautioning you as how you should avoid sleep deprivation and why you should avoid it also. If you reduce your sleep, okay, so that can become dangerous. So, as I said, 7 to 8 hours of sleep is required for adults. Sleeping less than 6 hours or only for 2 to 3 hours or not sleeping at all can be really dangerous. So, lack of sleep causes mood swings. So, people will get irritable, suddenly angry and it also accounts for poor concentration. So, listening power is reduced. You cannot concentrate on anything that is happening can be combined with some persisting headache. Also in terms of uh, your uh, bowel movement, it can obstruct normal bowel movement. So, it can cause constipation leading to fissures and fistulas and other unnecessary complications. It can also result in loss of appetite. But the worst thing is that it increases the blood pressure and enhances the flow of toxic secretions in the body affecting many vital organs leading to sudden collapse and imminent death. There are many stories, uh, there was a story about a CEO in Mumbai, so who is otherwise uh, very fit and then uh, goes to the gym regularly, works out like anything morning, evening, afternoon, uh, very good in diet and then uh, very good in communication skills, very loud leader and all that, but one day, one morning he was just found dead. People found that in his passion for achieving more goals, uh, more targets for the company, he was exerting himself and then slowly he reduced his sleeping hours. There were days he was doing without sleep and the, uh, and the average sleep that he was getting was just two hours. So, it just killed him eventually one day. So, when he got sudden heart attack and then he just died on the spot. Overall, sleep is one of those rare things that money cannot buy. So, you will remain blissful if you train yourself to sleep as soon as you go to your bed and sleep for 7 to 8 hours without any disturbance. That is a bliss and that is possible by training yourself by using exercise by following the suggestions that I have given you and using your own uh, uh, appropriate uh, improvisations in this kind of exercise. So, you will be able to maintain that balance between mind, body and uh, the emotional uh, socializing that is also required to keep yourself free from stress. Let me conclude this with the secret of uh, good living, the secret of living well. This is from a Tibetan proverb, it goes like this, the secret to living well and longer is eat off, walk double, laugh triple and love without measure. So far in this course, we have discussed about maintaining your health, maintaining diet. I suggested how you can uh, use diet which actually amounts to not overeating. So, it is something like eating off. Walking double is your uh, ability to add to your exercise and we already did something about using laughter in communication and the 
uh, importance of humor in communication and developing your uh, soft skills and personality. So, laugh triple, so more than the amount that is required and then love without measure is something that I would like to discuss in the coming uh, lessons. So, once again I wish you to live well and live longer and these are the two books that I gave quick reference. One is on uh, eating right by uh, identifying the diet that is required for your uh, blood group and the other one is about getting powerful sleep and then uh, resetting your inner sleep clock. I hope with these suggestions, with these recommendations and then uh, motivations, you will start your exercise program, you will eat well and you will also sleep well and peacefully and I hope you will start enjoying this journey of living a very happy and healthy life. So, wish you all the best and have a very nice day. Thank you so much for watching this video.